everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and today I have a brand new product from Hisinchi. No, this is not it. This is the product I reviewed last year, exactly one year ago today, I think. So this is called the Stargazer and it's a ready to fly kit for kids or adults who love Comic-Con. So if you have not seen my review of this kit, go check it out. It's right here. It's very detailed. I think it was the very first review on this entire kit in North America a year ago. Super popular. You'll want to check it out. And it's a pretty good deal for the price because in the kit you get the drone, this really cool one here. You get the battery, battery chargers, you get the goggles, you get the remote right here, and everything is designed for kids or mini adults. Now the reason I say mini adults is because I'm trying to say people who have no experience in flying FPV drones. So now that I've moved the previous kit out of the way, this is what we're going to talk about in this video. This is Hisinji Sunray, brand new on the market for North America. And the cool thing with this drone is it's fully compatible with this kit. So on the Hisinji website, you can either buy this entire kit or you can buy this entire Sunray kit, or you can just buy the individual drones and they all work together. So you don't have to buy another kit. So for me, it was pretty easy. I just went into my phone app, hit bind and I bound this to this remote and it works with the goggles and you can fly around and do all sorts of cool things. Now since this is a comic book type drone there's a whole storyline to Sunray with Rita being the main character as there is a whole storyline to the Stargazer kit. So if you're in the comic books you'll love these drones and this one works the same as this one. In other words you need experience points to upgrade your drone. How about I just show you so you know what I'm talking about. All right so let me grab a battery over here plug it into the drone. We'll just power the drone on really quick and it make a cool sound. You put it down flat and it levels itself. Now it's ready to fly. I could hook up the goggles or the remote and fly it around right now. It's that simple, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pretend I know nothing about this and I'm going to take this and hook it up to the phone and configure it via Bluetooth and do some cool things. Matter of fact, I could even fly it with the phone. I don't even need this stuff. I could just buy this, use my phone or tablet and fly it around. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. So on my phone, hopefully it's recording. I start up the Hisinji app. You can see right away it says, hey, Captain Drone at the top. I didn't change my character so I look goofy. Next along the bottom I'm going to go to device and then I'll select configure my mini drone which is the middle one. Click that. It says you want to connect via Bluetooth. Yes. Then it finds the Sunray drone and now I'm connected. So the first thing you see on your screen is say you had multiple drones or multiple children in your family or maybe you and friends had these drones you have to pick your video channel so it shows you all the channels here you've got eight channels so I just tap on the channel I want that's my video channel and then click save at the bottom it's that simple so what I'm saying is basically not everybody can be on channel one you'll just get interference next I go over to tuning for this baby and you can look and this is where I'll show you my experience points so you see at the top left it's got p points propulsion points so up and down speed. I can take some of those away. You see how it's going down to seven? I could put two there. Horizontal speed. I could put a couple here to go faster forward. My acceleration, how fast will I accelerate? I can put here. I've still got it. I'm just putting two on these. You can see at the top it's going down to three. Actually, I'll go up here to horizontal speed. I'm just going to crank it to as many as I have. There we go. I'm up to, I can't add any more points. So that's how you configure this, but you only get those points the more you fly. And then you can see down below you have traction control, weak or strong. I'm on weak for some reason. So if I click the unlock, watch what happens. It says, my synergy is 215 traction control. Adjust how your drone behaves while turning. It is set to weak by default. So I can unlock it and it requires points. I'm clicking unlock, unlock. Oh, I did unlock it. <laughs> For a minute, I thought I had no points. Can I crank it? Plus, here we go. Let's crank it up to the center. So you can see how I'm tuning the drone. Now, what you have to do is hit the save button at the bottom and all the settings are now saved in the drone. Let's go back up. I'll show you the next one, general. If you go down to general, you can change the name of your drone. You can change the color of this LED on the back. I've set mine to red, but uh, you can see on my little display, I have all those other colors I can change it to. You can also change thing if your drone is going crazy and moving all over the place when it shouldn't be. You can do all your little trimming controls here. Uh, sport mode. I don't have sport mode yet because you have to fly for 60 minutes. After you fly for six zero sixty 60 minutes, then you can unlock sport mode. And you can see that if I go to unlock it, it's off right now. And if I click normal, it's going to say you need 60 minutes of flight time. And I'm flying in mode two, 
What's really cool is the batteries. Say you charge up all the batteries in your charger here. You need batteries for this, by the way. Say you charge them all up and you don't go fly. Well, it's not good for the batteries. So you can turn on right here, storage, discharge, and turn them into a smart battery. So they automatically discharge if you don't go fly. Right now I have it on off on mine because I use a bowl of batteries. And that's pretty much it. And you can check for updates. I've got the latest firmware. I've only been flying for 51 minutes of airtime. I've done 44 flights. I've crashed seven times. These are all my achievements. So you see every time you get an achievement, you get plus one point so I have to unlock all these and you do that just by flying items inventory this is whenever you buy accessories for any of these drones there's so many accessories you can buy every time you buy an accessory it comes with a QR code you scan it into your phone and then it goes into your inventory so if I go to my inventory here this is everything I've scanned into my phone so I've got uh, Cooper which is the stargazer I've got Rita which is the Sunray I've got my goggles, I've got my uh, remote over there. Uh, Do-it-yourself parts, there's a lot of them. You can see it right in the center. You can change the prop. You can do all sorts of things. Change motors, props, everything. It's very configurable. This last one is something you might want to get. I don't have it. So if I go to media local album, click on that, you'll see I have nothing. The reason I'd have nothing is because on these goggles right on the side, you can pull this off on the side and here you can put a DVR, digital video recorder. You put your micro SD card in there. So when you go fly, it records your flights in there and also transfers all those flights to your phone so you can send them off to friends and family. Oh, and I have to show you this. Let me go back here. Remember I mentioned you do not need the remote or the goggles to fly this well. You could fly it without the goggles. Uh, you won't get any information back from the camera, but you could still control it. So if you look at my phone screen, I'm going to tap on use my phone as a remote. You can do this with a tablet as well. It's up in the top left. Turn that, confirm. It just knows that you're going to fly it using Bluetooth and you're going to fly it using the joystick. So you see I have the engine start button in its bottom center and I can use these joysticks to fly this up in the air. So to get it going, you hit engine start. You hold your thumb on that or your finger. They're going. <laughs> Head to lift off. <gasps> I gotta get out of the way because I don't like flying with this. Don't have sticky fingers, whatever you do. Okay, here we go. Up. There you go. I'll, I'll try to fly here. Ah! Yeah. So there's another crash. I would suggest be in a wide open area if you're gonna fly using the remote because it's uh, you gotta be really good on the joysticks. All right, so next thing I wanna show you is some flights I did with this indoors and outdoors. And you'll see the camera's not too bad. It's pretty good. So uh, check this out. All right, I'm gonna take this little guy for a flight around my house and I'm gonna do something different that I normally don't do in videos. You see I wear glasses. That means if you get box goggles, they rarely fit over glasses and they don't fit over mine because it's too small on the inside. However, for some reason, these Hisinji goggles, I can actually see it's, it's not clear, but it's clearer than most. So they're using some sort of magnification system in it that works with many eyesights and kind of works with mine. So I'm gonna to try to fly it around the house using these goggles. Not my fat sharks. However, I'm gonna use my fat shark goggles to record the video to show you what I see inside the goggles because I do not have the little option. There's a little option that goes on the side right here. You can get it off the website and I do not have that. It's a DVR. So if you have that, you attach it to the goggles, put a micro SD card in and you can record your flights and then transfer them to your phone. All right, do this quick, power this on. Battery in the drone, it's a little power button on the bottom, green light. And I see the logo inside and I should see what the drone is shooting out. There we go. You probably can't see what the drone is shooting out there or there, but there's an image inside. And uh, here we go. I'm going to fly looking at, yeah, it's weird. It's actually clear. I can actually read all the letters and the words. So I should be able to fly this. No problem around my house here. So let's uh, start the motors, press the big button to start the motors. I get haptic feedback. It says engine start on top, go up and try not to crash into me or anything else and there we go so that's what it looks like going through the house and i'm wearing the goggles which i'm blind as a bat with most sets of goggles if they don't have prescription lenses whoa slow down right there all right so let's just bring it down well i guess i am blind as a bat i missed the table the table's only this big now this little guy is pretty fast i'm going to show you some video i took earlier chasing it around the house so what i did is i put a battery in and i just flew it with the controller and i got it to go as fast as i possibly could get it to go and i just chased it with a little ace pro camera on my head and this is what it looks like check this out get a battery in this guy powers on Get some haptic feedback and the motors will start any second. There we go, and going up. Now let's take it around the house. 
Woohoo! Racing! Go around, 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 around. <laughs> Go pretty fast with this thing. All right, let's bring it down for a landing over on the table. All right, go. Well done. All right, for my next magical trick, I've opened up my door right beside me here, and I'm going to take the drone and fly it outside, then fly it back in. But this time I'm going to wear my fat sharks because when I go outside with these on, the sun is very low and it's just going to blind me. And if you're not in the FPV hobby, this has one screen and my fat sharks has two screens. So for each eye, I can adjust the focus. And that's why I can see with fat sharks. They're very adjustable. All right, so here we go. Hit the start button. And uh, here we go. You can already see the light a little bit and we're gonna come around and we're gonna go outside. So let's go around and come back to me. You'll see the light just blinding me. This is why I've got my fat sharks on. And we just have to go this way over the tables, right into the sunlight. There we are, now we're outside. And you can see it's kind of dark because the lens on here uh, adjusts for the exposure. So it's very bright outside compared to inside. So there we go. So you might see it looking a little different. I'm surprised the signal's pretty good. There's a, there is a tiny antenna at the back of this drone. Whoa, branches <laughs> get low. Oh, I didn't mean to turn the engine off. Oop, I guess I turned the engine off. Hang on a sec, let me just start that up again. Engine start, yeah, let's go. <laughs> back where I was. All right, and smash into the bird feeder and the tree. Whoa, what am I hitting there? Can you do any little maneuvers like go between things? It's pretty windy outside. You can't see anything moving because there's no leaves on the trees and branches don't move. I can go through things. There we go. Pretty cool. All right, let's come on back in. Whoa, go over my head. And this way. I almost went downstairs there and then around. We're going to come land. There we are. There I am here. I don't know if any camera's picking this up. I'll just come over beside me. And land over here. Oh, I almost fell off the table again. All right, so that was my flight with this thing. Anybody who has this can have a lot of fun, but it is pretty basic. You know what I should do is I should go outside and uh, see what the range is with this thing. We'll fly up and you'll see where I am. I'll turn around any second. There's some sun and whoa, I got to slow it down. The wind's got it. Yeah. I don't have sport mode unlocked yet, so the wind is just taking it out here. There I am. All right. I think no matter which way I go, the wind is going to take it. So let's see this way. I'm going to go right across the street here. See if I can get across without a car running me over. So I don't have a lot of speed. <laughs> there we are. So look at my video already. You see that when you see those funny colors? That just means interference happening. So there I am across the street. So at least we know it has that much range. Let's go over this way. Oh, get out of the sun. Let's go this way then. Let's go up higher. Let's go down this way. Ooh, we can just see the wind blowing and taking it. Let's go across the street and back to me. Okay, so the range isn't too bad. I thought this would be a lot less range. But uh, I haven't put it at full range because of the wind is just knocking it around here. Here, let's see if I can get in my backyard here. Go this way. Going up, 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 up. There, go in my backyard. So now I have the interference of my house being in the way. And uh, I don't know. Oh, look at this. It's pretty good. So I'm in my backyard. And uh, I'm losing interference. I got too much interference. I don't know where I am. Hang on. Can I turn around? The house is killing it, but it's not bad. I'm in a tree. I'm in a tree. I see branches. I see dead branches. All right, let's go see where that uh, landed. So that's not bad. I'm, I'm kind of impressed that it actually gave me a video signal through the house because not many drones can do that. So the fact that I was over there, I had to send the signal around the house this way, come all the way around and all the way over here to the backyard. And it went all the way around over here to the backyard. And then it crashed someplace over here. I found my drone and I see the reason I couldn't restart it and take off. Check this out. Right over here is my little guy. He's in the branches. Right over here. Yeah, he was just sitting right there. All right. So I got him. 
ready to fly another day. All right, so you're back. To me, the other thing I wanna show you is when you buy this little kit, you don't just get the drone inside. You get a ton of documentation. You get a little comic book that shows your Rita's backstory. You can go online and see the story as well. You also get these trinkets of Rita. I'm really not sure what they are, but I guess they're collectible. Plus you get tons of other information inside the kit that's going to be pretty fun for a kit i said in my initial review of this one that this would make the best christmas gift for a child or the best birthday gift for a child but as i've discovered based on the comments below of the video for this one uh adults love it so for christmas get your husband something like this or get your son who's like a teenager or a mini adult get them something like this and they'll have a great time for christmas or their birthday especially if you're into first person shooter video games or you like like transformers on tv movies movies or you like all those Marvel comics or DC comic movies or the comics themselves or Star Wars or Star Trek you're gonna love this because it all follows a similar storyline and since it's configurable it's pretty cool and I will say too a lot of people are gonna ask hey I want to get this drone it looks pretty cool can I do the full FPV acro with this the answer is no so they made this more for the experience they want people who buy this to have a positive experience day one second one so it's not designed to be a professional drone so it has altitude hold you really don't get rid of that it's always gonna have it you, I don't think you can do flips and rolls at least I've never been able to it it flies pretty stable it is designed for people like even if you look at the remote the joysticks are in the center anytime you get anything with the joysticks in the center that's usually beginner level so since they're in the center it always returns to the center just like on a DJI drone so very simple to fly the drone flies itself almost so grandma approved grandpa approved for flying this baby and finally just to come back to what I said at the beginning this is now available in North America so that's why I'm showing it to you because Hisinji sent it to me and they're pretty excited that it's available in North America so you can either buy it off the Hisinji site they have everything plus all the accessories or I think get FPV might also sell this so wherever I find links to this product and this product i'll post them below and you can go check that all right guys if you have questions on this drone or this stargazer post them below and i'll get back to you but for now i say thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you in a future review with many more product reviews until then i say bye <laughs>